We're here at Lockheed Martin Aeronautics in Fort Worth, Texas doing demonstrations of autonomous inspection drone technologies. These demonstrations are made possible through collaborative research between Lockheed Martin and the University of Texas at Austin. We have uh, been uh, working with the Poltech group at uh, Lockheed Martin for the past 18 months or so uh, doing uh, multivariant robotics inspections of uh, high value aerospace assets. So the idea here is that you could have aerial vehicles or ground robots or even potentially snakes and crawlers go and inspect aircraft like F-35 with minimal human intervention. The drone can take off and be able to localize itself with respect to the environment and then be able to go and look at multi-point inspections. The critical contribution that we provide is the onboard autonomy algorithms, whether it's the path planners, whether it's the collision avoidance schemes, whether it's the localization, because remember that this is completely GPS denied, or, uh, or there's no other navigation infrastructure coming from overhead. This is the first time that our drone came and flew in this particular environment, and so that itself uh, demonstrates uh, the self-localization uh, and navigation aspects. With advancements in machine-coordinated motion, path planning, and object recognition, Lockheed Martin can deliver improvements in efficiency, safety, and affordability to our maintenance and inspection efforts. This has been a super exciting effort, and uh, especially because what we do as basic fundamental research at the university finds a real-world application. It's a super challenging application Lockheed presents us. We are uh, still only scratching the tip of the iceberg. We know that there is still a lot to do. The students, I mean, they are the, the real prime movers for this effort, and they have had uh, such a rewarding experience working on these, uh, these uh, challenging problems, and so we really appreciate this opportunity for partnering with Lockheed. We are very thankful of the contributions of the University of Texas at Austin.